Alright you guys, then we'll check out how to make this colorful stencil effect here in After Effects. First let's start with a new composition, I'm gonna go with 1080p 30 frames per second, I rename the composition, and I'm probably gonna go with like 10 seconds, click OK. Here you're gonna need to drag and drop the video that you like, right click on the video, let's go to transform and select fit to comp. And then I'm gonna right click here, go to new and select adjustment layer. And I'm gonna rename this as effects. And let's go to the effects and presets, search for posterize. And drag and drop the posterize on the effects layer. And as you can see, it is going to simplify the shading and you can go here to the level and we're gonna to need to decrease it. And it's gonna remove more and more colors. And I'm gonna go all the way down to three. Now from here, we're gonna to need to customize these colors. So let's go back to the effects and presets, search for CC toner. Drag and drop the CC toner under the posterize. And here you can see we can work with only three colors, the white, the creamy color, and the black. So for that, we're gonna to need to change up the tritone to Pantone. So now this way we can work with five colors. So we got the black, then we got the second one, and I'm gonna recolor it. This is gonna be the red. Next, I'm gonna go to the third one. I'm gonna make this blue. There you go. Fourth one, probably gonna make this green click OK, and then the last one, the first, is gonna be the yellow, and click OK. Now, you always can customize these colors without changing them manually. You can go to the effects and presets and search for curve, and drag and drop it in between the posterize and toner. And check this out, if you bring down the curve, it is going to modify the colors, and you can recolor it globally, however you like. I'm also gonna search for Gaussian blur, drag and drop it under the CC toner and I'm gonna add four and then I'm gonna search for grain, drag it under the Gaussian blur, change the preview to final output and I'm gonna go to preset and select this one, probably gonna increase the intensity to 1.5. So this way I'm gonna make it more sharper but with softer lines. You also can add some stripe if you want, you can click somewhere here to deselect and let's go and select the pen tool click on the fill, click on the none, click OK, click on the stroke, and let's go and select the fill, solid color, and here you can change up the color. In my situation, I'm just gonna go with blue, and here you can increase the size to two pixels. And from here, I'm going to drag a line like this, and then let's go and open up the shape layer, go to add, select repeater. Here we're gonna go to the repeater, open it up, copies, increase, Let's go to transform repeater one, and we're gonna go to the position and decrease the position to make the lines narrow. I'm gonna bring the line here, so it's gonna start from the left, and I'm gonna increase the copies more until it's gonna fit the page. Now let's go here to the blend mode, change it to darker color, and pretty much this side looks. Thanks for watching.